the value of disappointments in life. Everyone wants to share their victories and successes and triumphs in life, but many more have many disappointments in their life and others that often feel shame and failure and want no one to know about that. The church doesn't really want to hear from people who have struggled in their lives, made bad decisions, have unhealthy addictions, considered worthless, but many who have been failures aren't finished in their life yet. Some have overcome extreme hurts, abuses from childhood, and become hugely successful in the eyes of the Lord, ministering to those who have struggled with the very same things that they struggled with and were looked down upon by the church. You can think about individuals that were in the world that have overcome some great tragedies. Uh, think about, for instance, Thomas Edison. Uh, he was a master of trial and error, someone who wasn't afraid to make lots of mistakes in order to succeed. And when asked about the many thousands of failures he had when trying to create the light bulb, he famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that wouldn't work. Think about Colonel Sanders and uh, his chicken recipe. He ended up going to over a thousand different restaurants trying to get people to be interested in it before he went to the thousand and ninth one and the first person said yes, that they would end up taking that recipe. He was 65 years old when that happened. So there's many of us that uh, would be discarded by many, even those in the church, by saying, well, you're a failure, you're a disappointment, you made all these bad decisions. Well, it's because we were hurt, we were wounded when we were growing up, and the Lord's not finished with us yet. Think about Moses. He was a stutterer, couldn't speak, and the Lord used him to take over a million of God's people out of bondage and slavery uh, and delivered them into their freedom. You know, there are so many people in the Bible where the God used them, he uses the foolish to confound the wise. So don't uh, get discouraged if you have had a lot of challenges, a lot of disappointments in your life. The Lord will use those and become your anointing for helping others because you walked in the same shoes that they have. So I want to encourage people today. I have a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons. It's helping people to get healed of those wounds and get delivered so that they can come into the fullness and walking in the fruit of the Spirit and do the calling the Lord's called them to do. And that book's available on Amazon, a paperback, Kindle, and Audible. I also take people through personal sessions of healing and deliverance. If you're interested in that, you can go out to uh, restored2tofreedom.com. Click on Contact Me and submit the form. Uh, we'll set up a session for you. I'll, you can also call 317-459-7091. All right, thanks, bye.